Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at the scenarios that go with the Hoverside Special. And I would have done these in the same video for the vehicle if it wasn't for the fact that there's a lot of scenarios that take a lot of time to do, and it would make the video too long. So we're going to be doing all the Hoverside scenarios, starting with Hoverside Flying. Fly the Hoverside, only for the Brave. So you hit T to get it up in the air, then you just hit G to boost. And you just got to try to keep it straight as it bounces around through one, two rings. And that is it. Nice and easy one. But it's a fun one because you get to fly. And one thing that's kind of funny is we could totally recreate the thumbnail on this super easily. Because all we need to do is just go through a ring and then pause it once we're like halfway through the ring. It's so like there. And then we just bring the camera around to something like that. And boom, we recreated the thumbnail. So it was similar. I can't remember the exact locations of things, but it's similar to that. I thought that was pretty fun to do. Anyways, on to the next scenario. And we're doing them in the order when you put it in author. So we put author, go to the bottom, and the next one is called Hoverside Going in Town. Drive your brand new Hoverside in town. And one thing that's kind of funny is on all these scenarios, you can actually move around before you hit start because T, F, G, H, left, right, and down do not start the scenario. So you can do all those movements without starting it. But the second you hit up, then it'll actually start. I don't think you can complete the scenario without starting it since the checkpoints probably won't take until after you hit start. So it's just a fun little thing you do to get yourself lined up with a little bit of an extra bit of time as well, but not like a huge advantage or anything like that. And the reason why is because normally it just locks out the engine, but since you're using thrusters here and not an actual engine component as the game defines it, you can move around before anything happens. Ooh, that was a little sketchy. Almost fell in the hole. Just trying to go nice and slow here because I have so little control that if I start to go more than like 30 or 40 miles per hour, it gets super scary and super sketchy really, really fast. All right, will this shortcut work? It looks like it could be a viable shortcut. We'll find out in a second. If things start to go bad, I just say stop hovering and hope it lands on the right side. Oh, that actually isn't just a shortcut. I think that's the route you have to take. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, doing this scenario for the second time, but I can't remember how I did it the first time. That's a great plan, isn't it? I mean, I have a general idea of what we had to do. There was nothing super tricky about it. You just had to be careful not to flip over or tap the walls like I almost did right there. I thought I was going to hit it for sure. All right, now we'll go a little fast. I will probably regret this, but we're going to do it anyways about 60 Oh, stop, 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 stop. See, the emergency brakes is turn off hover. Did I actually get that checkpoint or did I miss it? Oh, good. I got it just barely. Sometimes you'll hit the checkpoints like that and the game doesn't think you hit it, actually. It's just the checkpoints were made a little too small. That one's made nice and big, which I am really appreciative of considering I'm driving this thing. So now we got to try to... Camera, what are you doing? Camera, 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 please. Camera, please. You know what, too? Every time I hit T to turn off the hovering, it is extremely close hitting R and resetting this and then having us restart all over again. I got to try to do a rotate here, which is a lot easier said than done. As you can see, we're trying really hard to rotate. And I hit the tree, and apparently that's going to rotate me harder than all of my efforts combined. So we'll just try to maybe bounce off the bridge to rotate. That might do better. Come on. And okay. Stop rotating now. Like I, I just see it's got it's gonna keep spinning and spinning on me. Alright, gotta rotate. Gotta rotate. Gotta rotate. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh hover off. <laughs> I almost tipped over right there. Just kind of got up into the wall, up on the curb, all kinds of nonsense going on. Like this is slow and steady. That is such the key. Slow, steady. Slow! I said slow! Slower. There we go. That's slow. See, but ever, ever I see a straightaway, though, I want to go fast, even though I really shouldn't. Okay, this is a... Uh, stop hovering. You're going to flip yourself over. I Stop hovering. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I thought my, my finger was off position. thought I was hitting the stop hover button. I mean, I thought I was hitting the boost button. Turns out I was hitting the hover button. Okay, go ahead and hover. 
Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, no hovering. See, it's actually easier to control it when it's not hovering. Much easier. Something's not right with the hovering system. If you notice, this thing keeps wanting to lean super bad for some reason. Uh-oh, it's stuck in the ground or something. What is going on? See, something's not right with the hover system here. I'm going to get to the finish, though. No matter how bad the hover system is, we can get to this finish. It's right there. Right there. It's right there. Come on. Come on. Go. few more feet. Really? There. Come on. Just inch, inch, inch. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. Wow. That was painful. Like, that thing was not flying right at all. It would not stay upright. I mean, you saw it was just acting really wacky, but we made it somehow. Took a lot longer than the first try, that's for sure, but I made it eventually. Anyways, next scenario is the Hoverside Highway. See how fast you can drive this hover car. You don't want to see how fast because it's too fast. Oh, it's so fast that I can't even get the checkpoint. There we go. I had to slow down and make sure I made it. Now, this one's a lot easier than the last one because it's mostly straights. Mostly. There's still some corners like right here where you gotta go whoa, like that. Oh, I thought I was gonna tip over. You thought I was gonna tip over too, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that looked almost for certain like a tip. I don't think I should go much faster than this speed though. If I go a lot faster than that, tipping will happen. This is like the perfect cruising speed for this map. 100, oh, the bumps, the bumps. Like a bump will stop me. Let's keep going. Just keep going. Done. Hey, this is the awesomest use of the hover car ever. Actually going in the tunnel like that. That was cool. I just rode that wall so hard. And right, let's see what happens when we get to the end. How hard are we going to hit this? It's going to be super hard. I, I don't like how they remove the uh, continue playing button because you got a retry which will set you back you got menu which goes back to the menu then you got scenario which goes to the scenarios you really can't keep driving after you complete a scenario anymore kind of sad about that there we go though rode the wall again and there is the impact basically back where we started though kind of fun anyways the next scenario is hoverside illuminati you stole a black real Pokemon made by the government and now the cops and the men in black are after you. Go to your safe house to escape them. The road may be blocked, so better use the lifting abilities of your ride. And right here, you get a little bit of an advantage because you can start moving around before the cop right behind you can. And you definitely want to make use of that because they have a normal car, which is great for driving on roads. You have a hover car, which is great for hovering, not for going fast, not for moving actually either. Because every time you go around a corner, even in a straight line, you feel like you're going to kill yourself. It's like, what do you like about your hover car? The fact that it hovers. What do you not like? The fact that every time I go for a drive, I feel like I might just die if I make a small mistake. Like right there. Oh, we're tipping over. I might die. So what would be going on in my mind if this was real? Well, actually, it's what's going on in my mind even if it's fake right here. I think, oh, we're going to die. Oh, we're going to die. Oh, we're going to die every time it starts to tip. Right, so we have something we have to go over over here. And uh, we're going to have to try to hover into the air. And then once we get over it, just stop hovering. And I do that to hopefully get it to not be upside down and stuck on the bridge because it's really easy to get yourself stuck on the bridge right there. And the easiest solution I found was to just bring it down. We're going to try to hover. Okay, it looks like we can hover safely. So now let's go to the safe house. We are actually hovering, which is really low to the ground. And there's the safe house, man. That is the perfect safe house for this car. Okay, apparently, I can't... Make it go in the direction I want it to. Gonna go in a different direction now. Just go! Smash into it! I don't care! Perfect. On to the next scenario. Which is called... Hoverside Police Chase. Stop the polluting beater at all costs. Tip, use the super boost to get closer or to destroy your and his car. Grammar's kinda weird right there, but whatever. So we're going to start going, and that's like the slowest four-wheeled car in the game. That's how bad it is to try to use this thing compared to a normal car. Like, we got to chase that. Gotcha. And now for the destruction. If they still drive after that, I quit. 
Like, there is no way they'll be able to still drive after that, right? Oh, no way. They're on fire. The stupidest cop ever. He just absolutely demolishes his car just to get that one guy. That's me. YBR the policeman. All right. Last scenario is hoverside precision driving. Drive the hoverside through tight spaces and don't get a single scratch. Now, the don't get a single scratch is not actually enforced. You can scratch this thing up a lot and it does not matter. Which you will be doing because this is not a vehicle of precision. This is a vehicle of imprecision. And the only way to get through this without scratching it is to go so ridiculously slow it'll be boring. In fact, to even get through it with the damage, you have to go so slow it's going to probably be boring. And if it ends up being too boring, I might not even finish it. We'll see how long I can uh, last before I get bored. So here we go. First, you got to go into this building and then you got to go out of this building. And actually, you know, rotate through this. This is the speed you got to go. It's like barely moving at all speeds. And... Apparently I'm sliding where I might hit that wall. So yeah, we're going to hit it. It'll pull me along in the right direction. We hit the other wall. I mean, you got to use the walls here to go faster. Like if you can't go fast without tapping the walls a bit. There we go. Another wall bounce. Going to go through here strafing style almost. Come on. Go. No, go. Sh no, stop spinning. It hit your corner on that. The easiest way to spin it is to really tap the corners. Because regular spinning is just so slow in comparison. You like tap the corner like that to get it in the right direction. That is how you go fast through here. At least that's the way I go fast. So again, tap that corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop hovering. Okay, hover again. Now, I'm trying to do it actually hovering. I think it might be a little bit easier if you did it without hovering, but... I want to do it as legit as I can, which means we are going to hover the whole way unless it's just to slow me down like I did right there. Got to go through here. You tap that and then get it to rotate. Oh, come on. Get, get yourself fixed. Oh, that's not the right way. You go in reverse. Stop, just stop. We have way too much rotational energy. I don't know what to do with it. And we got to be super precise here because you can't tap it here. Because there is just a fall off. Well, don't be doing sketchy stuff right now. Please don't do sketchy stuff. Come on, rotate, rotate, rotate. Now stop rotating. And now for the worst part. We got to do a jump. It won't even line up with the jump. Come on. Get lined up. Oh, don't fall off. Don't you dare fall off on me. I'm just going to line it up. Oh, I can't. You know what? Maybe this thing isn't like a normal car where when you're going backwards, you steer in the opposite direction of the way you want to go. Oh, that's kind of really messing with my mind. So actually, if I want to go to the left and I just keep holding left. Okay. I think at least. I asked for that jump. Okay, apparently I can't go forward. I can't go forward. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to fly across and smash up the car. All right, now we're upside down, and this is really boring to watch, so I'm going to dump it in the water in this video here because I don't want to bore you guys anymore with this one. This one's not fun to watch at all. So, till next time, this is YBR. I'll see you.